So on today's review, we're going to do an unboxing of the C450 dash cam from 8man. This is a dash camera, 1080p, 3 inch LCD screen. So stay tuned. Welcome back. So today we're going to do an unboxing, as I stated earlier, the 8man 1080p dash cam. Picked this up online. Needed a dash camera with all the madness going on in the world. Decided I'd go ahead and get one and share it with you guys to see what's in the box. And then eventually I'll give you a review of what it looks like. Saw some other videos, but I decided to do it for myself and see how it works for me. Alright, so here's the front of the box. Right here. Here's the inside of the box. Right here in the front. Right here shows you that we hope you be satisfied with the product. Find them on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and if you have any questions, right here they give you the support. And right here for America, Europe, and Japan, if you need help setting this up, as you can see right here, tells you it's more powerful. Has a G sensor protection, parking monitor, loop recording, night vision motion detecting and seamless 1080p video All right this is on the inside of the box right here inside cover of the box rather here's the back there's the UPC 8-man international right here just a few more specs for you 1080p 30 frames per second six glass lenses 3.0 LCD screen three inches WDR, auto create balanced images and footage, the G sensor which senses sudden movement and freeze the image, and of course motion detection. Start auto recording once you get see any type of detection. So right here states that it comes with a one year warranty. You just go to 8man.com. So let's go ahead and unbox this. And while I'm doing that guys, appreciate you watching. Can go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit that like button i appreciate it all right so let's see how i take this off carefully okay right here go like this pull that out okay wrong side but get it okay so here we got the 8-man C450 manual, it's in English and in Spanish, as you see, tell you what's in the box, this is what you should have in the box, instructions, here's the accessory box, let's go ahead and carefully take that out, okay, so it says accessory, so let's see what we get in the box here. I noticed over the years these boxes had different colors and different shapes to it. This is 2022, so box looks a little different for what I've seen on other videos and online. But as we take this out, the cigarette adapter right here, right here, right there. Here's another USB cable. So if you need to charge it or hook it up to something else, here's like a mounting piece right here for mounting. It's like probably like an ejection pin or maybe to reset it right here. And nothing else in the box. Uh, maybe like the Velcro stand or something. Oh, yeah, okay, the suction cup. So you put this in the windshield, stick it up there and you actually probably with the mountain piece it probably what slides on to the back of the camera all right so now for the good stuff okay so we take it out nothing, nothing else in the box nope nothing else in there but a security sensor put that back okay so here's the camera 
fits in the palm of your hand. Right here, have advanced protector on there. As you can see, it's the Moto C450. This is says 9 2020. Okay. Here's the site. Right here is the micro SD. Just your up, down, enter right there. And right here it looks like where your USB goes right here. Stick that in there. Depending on how you want to set it up. If you're running a long cord in the car or you may want to use it for something else, you can use the USB. And as you can see right here, here's the suction cup piece right here. Let's put this down carefully and let's see how that works. Alright, so here we go. Slide that in there, this piece, just like this. Okay, just like that, and stick it to your windshield, and it faces outside the car. Okay, and I guess you pull this off when it's time. Okay. Alright, so that seems like all the pieces in the box, and like I said, this is a mount. I'm going to read the instructions to see what's the best setup for me. And here's some other buttons on the side right here. Okay, it's the M and it's a lock button right here. It's probably like a little power button or something. Yep, but we don't have any power right now. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing powered up and just show you a little something. I still have to do a test run in the car, but I'm going to see if I can power it up for you guys. Okay, guys, so we did get this thing powered up. Don't have it in the car as you can see using the trusty old 10,000 fast charge Samsung power bank. And this is another alternative too if you feel like you're only going short distances. Same videos where people use power banks so they won't have the cord in the car all, all over the place. But I'm probably going to try to find a way to hide it in the car. Let's take this off. Please remove lens and screen protective film for the sake of this video. You read that use only the original car USB cable so they want you to use the one that came with it to ensure that it's getting power so as you can see right here the microphone well it cut off on me <laughs> ain't that something but you get it it needs to be in the car and have continuous power I'll say right here, see if we can turn it back on. There you go. It may not, probably because I wasn't doing anything. Insert SD card. Okay, so let's go up, down. Okay. So that mutes the microphone right here. Well, it can't record because it doesn't have an SD card, a micro SD card in there. You see it's record 1080p HD. Hit a few other buttons. Okay. No files. Okay, this is how you would go through it right here with this button. Okay, guys, so we did power it up straight out the box. We know it's working. So we just got to go ahead and give it a good old test run. I'll give it some test runs just to see how it comes out. And then we'll go ahead and show you guys some video of what it looked like actually in the car. Okay guys, as you can see, this is the video from the 8-man C450 dash cam. As you can see, it's very clear. You can see the words on the signs as we drive, the make and model of the cars. As we're driving ahead, have a Burger King on the right. You can see the sign 
and the words on the bottom. To the left, you can see the Dollar General. Silver car to your left. And we're coming up on a drive time auto dealership. So just some points I wanted to note out. Uh, the microphone does pick up. Do have to worry about the radio being on because it's something it kind of interferes, but nothing major. Um, for what I'm seeing, it does have a battery. I found out, but the battery does not last long, so it's best to keep it charged into the carport cigarette lighter, so you can get optimum power, so you won't miss anything, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you see some of the video for yourself. And then I'll be back to wrap up. Okay guys, I'm back, so as we get ready to wrap this up, I hope you guys um, like the dash cam video, try to bring you the best reviews that I can, so make sure you guys check out the links below, subscribe to the channel, definitely want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.